Hello, my name is Jeff. I'm a technician at Aerotronics in the experimental department. I'm going to show you today how to put a solder style BNC connector on a piece of RG400 coax. Here's a look at some of the tools I'm going to use. I have a pencil tip soldering iron set at 750 degrees with a tip cleaner. I have some 25 thousandths rosin coarse solder, sharpened probe. I have a sharp razor knife. I have a pair of flush cutting wire cutters and in this case I have two 3 8 inch open end wrenches. And then here you can see the male BNC solder type connector I'm going to put on a piece of RG400 coax. First let me offer my apologies and my gratitude to whoever I've stolen this uh, graphic from. But this shows an exploded view of a solder style BNC. Now keep in mind that the strip links that are shown here may or may not work for your actual connector. Now here are my actual parts laid out here in order. And as I put these on the coax, I want to make sure I get them on in the right order. So I'm going to start with the back nut, followed by the washer and the gasket. Now here's a little trick you can use to know how far back to strip your coax. I need to have my center pin come out flush, the tip of the center pin needs to come out flush with the body of the connector. So I'm going to line up my parts here and, and this will let me see how deep I need to go into the center pin, so I need to cut back this far for the center conductor, and I need to come back about this far for the outer conductor, for the braid. So I'm going to start with stripping for the braid. I need to come back about this far. I'm going to take my sharp knife, and I'm going to carefully trim all the way around just to break it loose. A little slice down the side makes it easier to pull it off. That reveals my braided shield here. At this point I'm going to take this shoulder washer. It has a little shoulder on the inside and it's tapered pointing in the direction that it goes into the connector. And I'm going to slide it up on my coax. I like to do this before the braid starts to get all frayed out. It's going to sit right there. Now I can use this probe Pull this back, unbraid this a little bit, don't worry too much if a few strands break off. We've got a lot here to work with. I'm going to take both conductors and fold them right back over the top of this tapered washer. About like so. Now I take my flush cutting cutters and I'm going to kind of give this a haircut. Right there at the end. Right at the edge of that nut. Now this is very important make sure that there's no strands poking up that are going to short out against the center conductor. So make sure all of those are pushed back. I need to cut back about this far. For my center conductor, take my sharp razor knife.
trim all the way around. In this case I end up just a little bit long. So I'm going to cut off this conductor about right there. Twist this together. Keep it all nice and neat. Double check that I have no strands poking out. And I can put the center conductor on. Notice the seat's right up against the dielectric. And I can see, it might not be hard to see on the video here, but I can see in that little inspection hole, I can see the center conductor wire. So I know I'm in the right distance. Now I'm going to take my solder. I'm going to heat this up and I'm going to feed some solder directly into that little hole. Now because this is going to take a moment to conduct some heat, I'm going to get the tip of my iron wet with solder, hold it against that pin for a few moments. And then as I feed in some solder, you want to ultimately wick that solder right down into that center hole. Now I can use the heat of the iron to kind of pull the solder both directions. Make sure I've got everything glued together. You want to be careful not to overheat it because you don't want to start melting this dielectric back here. Now again, I'm going to make sure that I don't have any strands of my braid that are going to short out against this center conductor when I put this together. Push it in there, make sure it's seated all the way. As you can see, my center pin comes out roughly flush with the body of the connector. And then the other parts will slide back up on the coax. Now at this point what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a pair of 3 8 inch wrenches, slip one onto the body of the connector, and use the other to tighten up the back nut. It's important not to over tighten this back nut or it ends up cutting off strands of that braid. So just bring it down till it's good and snug. It's got a little bit of pressure on the gasket. And this is rock solid. It won't pull off. That's what you're looking for with a solder style B and C.